Uh, just a little video for you uh, to tell you about Dakota. Um, Dakota, a couple of days ago, um, we discovered, it was late at night, um, that she had a, a tear in her chest, really quite bad. Uh, two, che two tears in her, in her chest. So we had to call the, the vet out. He said that they needed stitching. So the vet was here yesterday. Excuse me, madam. Uh, the vet came yesterday and did a um, surgery and stitched them up. And then she's currently got these two drains in as well, uh, just to drain any fluid to uh, prevent infection. Yo de todos modos voy a hacer dos capas de puntos Vale. Para que si se quita la de la piel, la por dentro esté, esté cerrado. Vale, so we're going to put two sets, so one for the inside and then one for the skin. So if she pulls out the skin one, the inside still stitched up. Poner el tubo es porque como ha estado muchas horas abierto, uh -huh. lo normal es que haya infección. Vale. Entonces ahora necesitará antibióticos unos días uh -huh. y eh, necesitará antibióticos unos días y el tubo es por si se infecta para que no se inflame aquí, para que por aquí pueda salir la, la infección. Vale. Aquí voy a dejar un, otro pequeño agujero sin poner un poco. Otro día limpia con vaselina. Sí, así como yo estoy haciendo ahora y ¿Vale? presionar para que salga por ah, el vale. tubo, ¿vale? Okay. Y es normal que se inflame bastante. Ok. So it goes well up a lot. And, uh... Si se inflama mucho, podéis coger con la manguera, con agua, sí. y poner aquí agua. Ah. ¿Vale? En la zona para... y dar paseos para que ella ande y...
and then we have to clean it every day. She's on painkillers and she's on antibiotics as well. So um, she's got uh, quite a bit going on right now. Um, we've done an inspection around the place to try and work out how she did it because interestingly enough, Spirit got a similar in, uh, injury um, a few, uh, well, about a week ago. Um, but I mean, his has cleared up. It was nowhere near as, as deep or as, um, as serious. Uh, but it was exactly the same location and they're about the same sort of size horse So there's obviously something out there that they're running into that was doing that So we've had an inspection couldn't find anything around the property um, The problem is you can't wrap them in bubble wrap and you know, they roam free so you know these things happen unfortunately um, so we think what's happened is they've either gone through um, a tree maybe an old uh, almond tree or something like that where it's sort of broken a branch or something and left a spike but we've we're being really vigilant to try and find if we can identify where it is but that's one of the downsides of having horses free roaming um, you know they do pick up injuries here there and everywhere um, but the alternative is no good you know we can't just sort of put them in a paddock and keep them there but um, anyway she's doing well this is first day after surgery she's looking really good really clean wound um, she's taking her meds very well, she's taking her injections very well, so it's all good. So, yeah, we'll keep you posted. Thank mm -hmm. you. 